from the last year, there were many discussions on the upcoming rise in 6000 series APUs, also known as Rembrandt APUs. There was a rumor spreading around back in December about the new gen integrated Radeon graphics. Now we have a lot of official benchmarks of the Rembrandt APUs which tell us the true story. Also, I will talk about how you can get up to 30% higher performance using these APUs. So watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe as it helps a lot. Back when HXL posted the Time Spy score of one of the Rembrandt APUs, the hype for the new APUs increased too much because it was looking like budget gamers won't need any dedicated graphics card. While there was no additional information about the particular GP model benchmarked and the actual source, we all knew that it was most likely going to be accurate as HXL is a reliable leaker. Now after 2 months of wait, we finally have the official benchmarks of these APUs and they are looking very promising. A detailed review has been posted on Zihu where the tests conducted show the true results of the Zen 3 Plus based Rembrandt APUs. The reviewer has done an excellent job of testing everything from performance to battery life and in all of those the Ryzen 6000 series APUs passed with flying colors. There are currently two iGPUs available in Ryzen 6000 series APUs. These are the Radeon RX 660M and RX 680M based on the RDNA2 architecture. Depending on the APU model, their clock frequencies vary, but the RX 660M and 680M have some significant performance gap between them. The two APUs tested here were the Ryzen 5 6600H and the Ryzen 7 6800H. The former uses the RX 660M and the latter comes with the 680M. Here in Time Spy test, just as HXL mentioned, the Ryzen 6800H with RX 680M scored 2574 points, while the RX 660M scored 1631 points. So theoretically the RX 680M is already faster than the GTX 1050Ti, but make no mistake, the RX 680M on the Ryzen 6800H uses a slower clock speed than the higher end Ryzen 9 6000 APUs. The GPU clock speed on Ryzen 6800H is 2200 MHz, while the Ryzen 9 APUs such as the 6900HS, 6900HX etc have 200 MHz faster GPU clock speed. That means the RX 680M on those chips can reach up to 2700 points just as HXL mentioned. But let's not waste any more time on that because we already have the official 1080p gaming benchmark of both the 660M and 680M. When tested at 1080p resolution, the 680M is successfully giving 60 plus FPS in almost every game. That includes the most popular esports games such as CSGO, LOL and Dota 2, as well as AAA titles including Metro Exodus, Gears 5, SOTR and others. It is straight away 70% faster when compared with the Vega graphics on the Ryzen 9 5900HS 5, from previous generation. It is also 60-90% to 90 faster than the Iris XC iGPUs on the Intel Alder Lake CPUs. All of these scores simply tell us that the time is finally here when budget gamers can simply avoid buying a dedicated graphics card. But you might be wondering that these are just the scores of laptop APUs. But what about the desktop? According to video cards, the 660M and the 680M are soon going to be available for desktop APUs too. And this should happen before the end of this year with the launch of Ryzen 6000 G-Series desktop APUs. And the good part is that the gaming performance should increase as the desktop APUs will bring higher clock speeds that can make them compete with the Turing-based GTX 16 series graphics cards. And now time for even more exciting part. Computerbase posted a benchmark of Cyberpunk 2077 with low settings at 1080p resolution. The 680M was just 19% behind the GTX 1060. However, this test was done without turning on the AMD FSR. The super resolution technique from AMD helps to improve performance without compromising on the graphics quality. Upon testing with FSR, the average FPS were close to 60. And while the original benchmark didn't have FPS numbers mentioned, Computer Base wrote that it was close to 30% increase in performance. That means the RX 680M is definitely overtaking the budget segment if the APU is priced fair enough. So let's wait some more and hope that the desktop APU surpass the GTX 1650. And with that, I want to end this video right here. And as always, I will see you next time.